The Iraq war has been one of the deadliest military conflicts in the West Asian region. Forty years later, we take a look back at this war, which killed hundreds of thousands and divided the region along sectarian lines. In March of 1975, Saddam Hussein, then Vice President of Iraq and the Shah of Iran, signed a deal in Algiers to settle a border dispute. The Algiers Accord ruled that their border ran along the center of the Shat al-Arab, a 200-kilometer-long river formed by the meeting of the Tigris and the Euphrates. But in April 1980, Baghdad accused Tehran of plotting attacks. This accusation came immediately after the 1979 toppling of the Shah of Iran. On September 17th, Baghdad declared that the Algiers Accord was null and void. It now demanded that all of the Shat al-Arab, the deadly eight-year conflict then began with Saddam Hussein sending soldiers into Iran on September 22nd in 1980. His air force bombed airports as well as military targets and oil infrastructure in the country. In the first few weeks, the Iraqi forces were met with very little resistance. Arab nations, including the rich Gulf countries dominated by Sunni Muslim leaders, gave billions of dollars to Iraq. They saw Saddam Hussein as a bulwark against the Islamic revolution of Iran's Ayatollah Ruhollah Khamenei, a Shiite Muslim. The Western countries, alarmed by Iranian clerics overthrowing the Shah in Tehran, also sold weapons to Iraq. Soon, Iran started pushing back. And in 1982, Iran launched a major counterattack, taking back its port of Khuramshar. Baghdad quickly announced a ceasefire and pulled back its troops. But Tehran rejected the ceasefire, bombarding the major Iraqi city of Basra. From April 1984, the two sides engaged in a war of the cities, with more than 30 cities on both sides battered by missile attacks. One of the main highlights of the Iran-Iraq war was Baghdad's use of chemical weapons on Iran. It, Tehran first made the accusation in 1984 and then again in 1988. These chemical attacks were also confirmed by the United Nations. The war came to an end when Khamenei accepted a UN Security Council resolution on July 18th in 1988. While the exact number of those killed in the war is not known, at least 650,000 people are estimated to have been killed during the conflict. A ceasefire was declared on August 20th in 1988. The toppling of Hussein's regime by the US in 2003 ushered in a new era in West Asia. The relations between the two countries have improved since then. Iran and Iraq have increasingly cooperated with each other economically, culturally and socially.